Hey everyone, so it's like past midnight right now and I am completely exhausted and like sleeping mentally but I'm packing up a lot of my things and I posted a makeup collection back in um, probably early 2013 and that was like when I had very little or in my opinion not much of a collection and now that I'm packing up all my stuff for the move I thought it would be it's kind of cool to like do a collection here and then see what everything will look like once I move. Um, I will do another collection once I moved and everything settled in and everything and then I will do another collection when I move into my own place and things of that sort. So um, without further ado I will show you my makeup collection and storage and stuff. Um, I'm not going to do the disclaimer like what I feel like it's so stupid like what do you, even if people were bragging what are we gonna say I am totally bragging um everything was bought for me everything is sponsored and um yeah I'm really bragging and I hope you get really jealous of everything that I have because I'm just so much better than you even if people felt that way are they really gonna say that probably not so um not bragging, um, I bought all this stuff myself. I'm not even big enough to be sponsored by anything, to be real. So, um, please keep watching if you want to see. So, first when you walk into my room, this is what you see. This is our spare bedroom, but I kind of turned it into my makeup room. Um, so right here is the door. And you walk in, and you see my Alex 9 drawer set. Um right up above you see a candle that I burn right now a marshmallow fireside you see my favorite lipsticks um, eyeliners um, my most used palettes and extra brushes right here you see my really like all my MAC palettes and my Anastasia contour kit that I'm trying to figure out if they can send me a new one because it is broken and damaged and inside it's broken. Um, if they don't want to send me a new one, I'll, I'll just send it back and get my money back, I guess. Um, my MAC uh, blush palette and then all three of my MAC palettes over here. As far as the lipstick goes, my favorite drugstore lipsticks are definitely the wet and wild ones i feel like there are so many dupes for mac ones in this collection and then these are my two favorite glosses right in here they are all of my mac ones um some nars ones some mac glosses um a Too faced one a ysl Sephora and two Lime Crimes back there. As you turn right here, you see where I film. Um, right here is my, right now it's actually my Facebook. Um, you come look right here and this is my lighting. All of my shoes. Um, my perfumes up there, candles, and just random and packing stuff because I'm packing. So if we come over right here and I'll sit down. Sorry for this. You see my bright light that's coming off of this. And the first thing you'll see is this little bowl where I put things that I want to do videos with or that I need to review or just try out. So I have my... Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, my Bobbi Brown Concealer, this thing that came in a Ipsy bag, this um, Sephora brand um, eyeshadow palette, this Stila lip gloss, and a Revlon lip butter in, I believe it's like creamsicle. Right here you see my brushes. Um, all of my eye brushes are here and all of my face brushes are here. Most of them are either MAC, Real Techniques, um, Sigma, things like that. 
Right here I keep my tweezers and my two beauty blenders, my original beauty blender and the Real Technique beauty blender. I have my three kabukis here and water. I'm always staying hydrated. This desk is the mom one from Ikea that underneath the glass I just made a collage. And um, then you come over here and you see I just keep lotions, chapsticks, um, hand sanitizer, gum, and a heat protectant. And then right here you see my hair brushes, hair clips, um, bobby pins, and headbands to pull my head back. You see a H or H2 Ocean water for my piercings, and I also use it for my brushes. And then right there is a makeup brush cleanser. And right here are my three setting sprays, not three, like five. Um, I have the Mario Badescu skincare one. It's a facial spray. I spray it on my face prior to doing my makeup and also after. And then my D Slick by Urban Decay, my NYX Matte Finishing Spray, my um, MAC Fix Plus, and e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, my planner and my YouTube notebook. Um, so let me show you inside. So when you pull out this drawer, it doesn't pull out all the way, which is definitely a downside. I'm going to ask my brother-in-law or my dad to rig it so it comes out more. In here are all of my everyday items. Um, so starting over here, I have my everyday primers, my everyday highlighters, um, my everyday bronzer, blushes and highlighters again. Right here are all the concealers that I pretty much use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have MAC Studio Fix, MAC Pro Longwear, um, some Garnier Maybelline. Obviously, I have two Maybelline Adria wines in two different shades. Just these are definitely like everyday things that I use, that either highlight or whatnot. Here I have my two everyday eyeshadows. Obviously, if you've watched my channel, you know. The Jane Cosmetics um, in Natural is my favorite crease and blending shade. And then obviously my black that I use every day to set my eyeliner. I have my um, under eye primer and then all of my under eye setting spray, uh, setting powder is my L'Oreal Mars Laura Marcier, my Clinique. Um, Bare Minerals Well Rested and my e.l.f. one. Back here it's really hard to see but I have some powders. So I have my MAC powder right there, my um, matte, uh, stay matte powder, Neutrogena powder, two cream contours, the Sonia Kashuk cream contour right here, and a Neutrogena um, cream foundation that I use for a contour. Bare Minerals, um, Another really dark powder that I use for contour and um, some bronzing powders that I keep back here that are my favorite. This one obviously I use like all the time. Um, and then once we go over here, it's all of like skincare kind of. Um, it's like a separate container. These containers are from, I believe, Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I have my three favorite moisturizers right here. The Dual Action, the Clinique, and the, um, uh, what is it called? Clean and Clear. Right here are my eye creams, my Clinique eye cream and some sample eye creams, and my two uh, Ole, wait, this one's Garnier, right? Yeah, Garnier is this one, and this one is the Ole one. Uh, just under eye ones. Right here are all of my these two are under eye creams too, and these are just some facial masks to use at night. Um, some really deep to pair, like cleansing things and stuff to put on either at night or in the morning. And some sample size of my um, moisturizers. Right here are all of my baby wipes and makeup remover. I know it sound, seems like 
a sufficient amount, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But um, I use them for different purposes. They, these are my favorite. I've gone through quite a bit of them. And I use these to take off my makeup. I use these to wet my um, face to cleanse it. These are for swatches and to take makeup off my hands. These are backups. And then right here I have two um, liquid eye makeup removers, the Mario Badescu um, drying lotion for pimples, a DIY lip scrub that I made, and three pads. I use Noxzema like every day. Um, the Neutrogena pads and Witch Hazel. Um, right here are just alcohol wipes, uh, toothpicks, um, what are these called? Cotton balls and Q-tips. And all back here are all just chapsticks and miscellaneous stuff like that. Um, you can't really, like, it's hard to get it out. But they're all just random chapsticks, like non-colored chapsticks. And then down there I keep two pens and a deodorant. We make it over to this, to the whole vanity one. We pull it out. And it's a whole lot of nothing, actually. All of these are gel liners right here. All of my mascaras, I know, and it's obscene amount. My eyelash curler, my eyelash primers, my everyday foundations, because they do not fit in that one over there. I keep all my everyday foundations. I do not wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. So these are things that, if I know I'm going out at night, or if I know that I'm going to want a foundation or something, I can reach in here. These vary through seasons and through when my skin is. If my face is looking a bit dry, I'll switch out these. If they're looking oily, I'll switch them out. Winter, summer, spring, you know, I switch these out. So these vary and I use all my foundations. Um, and these two sticks are things that I throw in my purse if I'm going out. Magic Lumi is definitely my favorite two concealers that I mix in with my foundation and this is my DIY foundation like the love of my life the best foundation ever and some Ben, a ben Nye banana powder. I keep all of my brow pencils in here um, highlighter pens for my brows all my brow pencils um, a setting gel a um, little brush for my brows things like that right here are all of my brow powders and what I use to highlight my brow bone some clear brow gel, a spoolie, and some brow pencils that don't fit in here. Down there is just a whole bunch of junk. Like, all that's makeup bags and all that's extra stuff. <sighs> so let's start over here. Right here is all my palettes. Um, so I have... What is this? The, my Morph brush palette that I made myself, my um, Naked 2, Pretty Rebel, Lorac Pro, Vice palette, this um, Urban Decay Electric palette, Smoked palette, two Lime Crime ones, some Too Faced ones, Naked Basics, things like that. Now, when you go in the first drawer, I have kind of made it so it goes from how you do your makeup. So I start with foundation. So foundation's right here. I have everything. I have Revlon Color Stay to um, Makeup Forever, Matte Velvet Plus to Cover Girl to my favorite foundation, the Tar Amazonian Clay to Laura Marcier, Laura Marcier um, Silk Cream Foundation, another fave. Uh, what is this? Locket Tattoo Foundation. Um, the oil, ver the oily skin virgin version of the Revlon Color Stay that is separated actually, and that's probably not good. Even though it has not expired, it's good for two years, and I've not had it for two years, so I don't know. Under are my BB creams, which my Mac stuff is falling all over so you can't really see but under is my BB creams right here are all my primers 
the L'Oreal Revitalift um, Instant Skin Moisturizer, which really is a, just like a blur technology. Um, what is this? Smashbox, um, Mac, Mac, Smashbox, uh, Prep and Prime, um, what is this? Too Faced, Bare Minerals, um, L'Oreal, Alme, um, things like that, really everything, honestly. Right here is the, a large version of the Well Rested by Bare Minerals and a um, loose powder by Sephora. Right here is my favorite NYX powder and banana powder. Right here are all my concealers and um, they vary from Bobbi Brown, as you see here, to Erase Paste by Benefit. Um, Hard Candy Glamouflage, Sonia Kashuk um, ones, and then right here I have my favorite, favorite loose um, yellow powder by Smashbox, and then my Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. The next drawer is, holy sh, it's going to fall. Okay, I'm going to hold it with my arm. Um, blush Bronzer Highlight. Right here are all of my e.l.f. blushes back here. Frat Boy by The Balm. All my box blushes by Benefit. A cream one by e.l.f. Um, my NARS uh, Laguna and Orgasm Duo. My Naked Flush Palette, the original one. Some cream ones down there. Another cream one. A whole bunch of cream blushes over here. Um, right here, all my wet and... What are these? Are these wet and wild? Yeah, wet and wild blushes. Um, L'Oreal blush, hard candy, two Milani blushes, a Tarte blush, um, hard candy, um, Stila blush, Sephora blush. Um, when I move, I'm going to get probably another Alex 9 drawer, or I will get a... Alex like five drawer or whatever so that um, I can organize this better and each thing can have a separate compartment because this is getting a little overboard. Um, what is this? Um, Too Faced, what is this? City of Color, Wet n Wild, things like that. Right over here bronzers, my two Chocolate Soleil bronzers, some other bronzers. Two highlighters by MAC. Um, another highlighter, sorry about my phone, um, obviously MAC highlighters are my favorite, another MAC blush, some cream products by Urban Decay, a NARS mini, oh no, this is a NARS, um, highlight in Albatross, it's an awesome, awesome one, Betty Luminizer, uh, Mary Luminizer and Cindy Luminizer. Just a oh, whole and then some liquid illuminators. Let me try to see if I have one thing in here. What I have another NARS. What the heck? I didn't even know I had that. That's sad. That's when you know you're going a little nuts. When you don't even know things are in here. This is all of my cream products. Um, these are colorful cream shadows. Um, I have some by Bobbi Brown. A whole bunch of Maybelline color tattoos, as you can see. Um, my MAC, MAC paint pots. Um, paint Release Stormy Pink. Two Soft Ochres. A Stila and Kitten. And all of my stick ones. So, um... Hold on. Uh, I have Elf, Scandalize, a um, bunch of jumbo eye pencils by NYX, a Stila smudge pot, smudge crayon, um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, just, and then these are like all squeezy tube ones. And back there are just like some Revlon ones, like the old ones that came like that. This is my high-end loose eyeshadows, single eyeshadows, um, and pigments. What is this? That's nothing. 
So right here are all of my MAC um, single eyeshadows, pretty much, um, what is this? Um, warming Heart Pressed Pigment, Light Touch Pressed Pigment, another light touch because I don't know why. Um, my newest favorite in Aztec Brick, my newest favorite eyeshadow. I got this in sixth grade. That is... How many years ago? No, I didn't. That's a lie. I got this one in sixth grade. That is eight years ago. I got this eight years ago. It's disgusting. I never use it, but I just love it. Anyways. So all of those, like, MAC single eyeshadows that aren't depotted or anything, and they're just like that. Here are all my other single eyeshadows, um, Victoria's Secret, Urban Decay, Stila, um, Chanel, NYX, Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Jane, things like that. Right here are some of my, like, favorite, I guess, um, pigments. I have a Jessie's Girl pigment, Makeup Forever pigment, and two Zodiac pigments by Lime Crime. Um... They're really awesome. I freaking love them. Right here are just some other single eyeshadows. Some Stila single eyeshadows. A NYX, uh, or a NARS single eyeshadow. A, a Sephora single eyeshadow. Right here are some, like, high-end palettes. So I have the Kelly Osborne by MAC. I have the Sharon Osborne by MAC. I have this one by MAC. I have a Dior palette. A NARS palette. A really old MAC palette and some glittery eyeliners um, because all the rest of my eyeliners are in here except for the glitter ones and this drawer is all my lower end I guess um, drugstore I have all of my Maybelline studio um, let me zoom in all my Maybelline studio quads or ones with five some um, some uh, Wet n Wild, some Hard Candy, some Maybelline, some Elf, and um, two of these really bright NYX eyeshadows. Right here I have all these loose pigments. Some of them are NYX, some of them are Hard Candy, um, things of that sort. All of these ones that look like this, they're the, um, here I'll show you this one, they're either Elf or they are um, the Maybelline color tattoo pigments. Right here are pigments that I bought from Amazon that like make a mess and honestly probably shouldn't have bought them, but they're really pretty. And they come in these little containers like this or these circle containers like this. And so I have like a bajillion of them, obviously. Right here are my absolute favorite um, infallible eyeshadows by L'Oreal, and then two pigments by, um, e.l.f., um, my Mica or Mica pigment and a Bare Minerals pigment. Right here I have some of my favorite Revlon Lust ones, the pink, the silver, and the black, um, some little, you know, duos, an Urban Decay, one that's filled with Urban Decay shadows, and some MAC, um, little quads and stuff. Down here is all of my lips. So right here I have lip liners. I have depotted OCC lip tars. I put them all into these little containers, labeled them, and put their name at the bottom because I feel like I'll use them more when they're not in a squeezy tube and they're a lot easier to use. Just dip your lip pencil in there and you don't really have to worry about squeezing it. All of these are lip liners. So I have Urban Decay, MAC, um, what is this? Maybelline, Remmel, Elf, um, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, a NARS one, um, just a whole bunch. Right here are all of my quote unquote chubby sticks. So all of my crayon formulas are right here. My favorite ones are the Revlon ones right here. I have um, two of the L'Oreal ones that are discontinued, some Elf sticks. Right here are my absolute favorite. NYX and Wet n Wild are definitely my favorite lip products from the drugstore. So right here I have all of the um, 
either glossies, what are they called, um, butter glosses or matte, soft matte lip creams by um, NYX. Right here I have the round, uh, the black round um, tubes of lipstick and I have all of my matte lipsticks. Right here I have all of the um, glosses. I'm not a big fan of gloss, but I have them in case I need them. It goes down really deep, so just of all kinds of glosses. Um, Stila, Revlon, Remmel, MAC, MAC, um, just a whole bunch. And then here are just all my lipsticks um, that are lower end since all of my high end ones are up there. These are lip butters, color whispers, um, Remmel, all of the Maybelline ones. Oh, I found another one that belongs right there. Um, just a whole bunch. And then right here is a travel pouch that I put all of my most used lipsticks in right here. And um, I can just grab it and go. This right here has all of my eyelashes, fake eyelashes, and all of my nail polishes. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And right here are all of my eyelash glues and tweezers and spoolies. Right here is all of my ginormous palettes that I don't use. A lot of them are the BH Cosmetics, um, BH Cosmetics, BH Coastal Scents, ELF, a mixing pot, and the Urban Decay um, Book of Shadows. I use them, and I use them a lot on my clients, and I use them for colorful looks and stuff, but they're just too huge to store anywhere else. And then right here, I keep all of my extras. Right here, it's like an extra duo glue, or glue, a duo um, dual action moisturizer, and all of my extras. It This literally goes down deep, deep, deep. Also, this is stuff that I use for giveaways and things like that. Like the giveaway I just did um, featured a lot of these things, and then I wrote a list of everything I gave away, and then I replenished it. So I rebought a lot of the products that I gave away in my previous, um, my 800 subscriber giveaway, I rebought a bunch of it because I enjoy having it. And just in case I want to do another giveaway, like it's a lot of stuff that I love and my favorite things. So I did do a giveaway with all my favorite stuff. So I wanted to replenish my favorite things in case I want to do another giveaway. Um, so I have like two line stilettos and L'Oreal and da 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 and just a whole bunch of stuff. So pretty much that is it. Um, that is my whole makeup collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. It's not too much, but it's not a small amount either. Um... Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. New videos every Monday, Thursday, and every other Saturday. Um, I appreciate all of you. Love you all. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.